Hello everyone, and welcome back. My name is Nicholas, and this is Major Crit. And we are on the hunt for the Professor. A toad professor who apparently can read the ancient writing that holds the clues to, to the desert here. But before we go out for that, let's go ahead and explore the rest of the hotel a bit. This place has been skating by on the strength of its ancient murals for a long time, if you ask me. Alright, alright. I guess the pool is pretty nice, too. So I'm assuming each of these murals is going to be a clue. Man, look at that big brawny toad. The new management won't do anything about the racket coming from next door. No tub for tub surfing. Oh, well, this is pretty fun. Ring trainer. Yeah, no tubs at all. How do how do you wash here? I don't know. On the other hand, they are paper people, so like I don't know. But then there's the water's paper too, so maybe it's fine. Hey, look at this! There's a huge picture all along the wall. Incredible! What is it, though? It's almost like a comic book. Would we call it a comic wall? Alright, so... I was gonna do my interpretation. Oh, and there's some more of that mysterious lettering, too. I sure hope the toad we're looking for can help us read this language. It seems like it's everywhere. So, we've got the four towers. We need to put the gems in their eyes. I already kind of figured that out. And then once the gems are in the eyes, with the fire inside, that'll send a glow going and then that'll make the phoenix the velamental show up and then you get surrounded by enemies ah uh, pardon me you two I completely forgot earlier we down or er, upgraded your friend to a different room he's on the first floor one of the basique Oh, basic. Basic rooms. Sorry for the mix-up. Oh, I do complain, but a mix-up like that is not a good sign. Alright, so that also looks like uh, there'll be more to the puzzle in that room. So we'll have to get in there somehow. Maybe figure out who is in the VIP room and go from there. Alright. So, uh, yeah, I thought that that was a bit weird. That uh, we were told that they were up the stairs, but then once they actually got there, like uh, you know, it, his room was in an entirely different section. And that wasn't me being confused, or you know, it wasn't me being wrong. It was them giving me the wrong information. I don't think there's anything else in the city we need. Go ahead and um, try to track down a professor. I think uh, the altar, I'm gonna guess, is the thing out here that had the sand in it. Or whatever in it. That seems altery. Also, I think, what was, was it? Sun incense? So that sand might be sun incense or something like that. Oh, no, that's not him. That's someone else entirely. I'm glad that we have this uh, car to get around easily. Hmm. See, that looks like a sun altar to me. But no professor. I'm pretty sure all those toads are toads we've seen before. Certainly none of them are standing at anything that looks like an altar. I 
Uh, the enemies seem not to be respawn respawning either. Um. Hmm. Yeah, normally I would just go around everywhere. But, um. Yeah, I definitely can't read that strange writing. Maybe we should go back to that town. Oh. Was a sun altar somewhere in town? Okay, I'm a little bit confused now. Why is there a, like, weird diamond shape? Oh, is that because it's a diamond... We need the diamond gem for there. That's gonna be my guess. Alright. Ah, I forgot to get my timer going. How long has this episode been going on? Like, five minutes already? Alright. Definitely no one there. I don't think you just show up when we get out of the car. They they want you to be in the car. The boot car. <laughs> just go. Hitting the corner as I go around the corner. Yeah, alright. There we go. Um... Oh, check with the... Ah, see, I would not have even thought to do that. To go check with the front desk again. Alright. If it ends up that I just talk to them, and then they tell me to go to the altar, and then the altar is the place that I thought was the altar, I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed. I'll admit. Like, oh no, you can't go to the place until we tell you to go to the place. Alright, like, the, the professor is just disappeared until then. Thanks for your help, front desk. Uh, front desk sniff it. The room is paused, but tasteful. I may have rolled around on the bed a little bit. Don't worry. Or no, was it? Don't worry. Happens all the time. Oh, that reminds me. Your colleague was asking after a particular trinket we had on display. I didn't want to sell it to him, but he simply insisted. So I may have charged a bit more than it's worth. I've been feeling bad about that, so why don't you take it? Another one for free. Sun incense. Incense that smells like the warm rays of the sun. Ah, uh, I feel better. Thank you for that. Now, if you're still looking to meet up with your friend, he went off happily somewhere, I'm afraid. We don't offer concierge services, but you may want to check in with a desert help kiosk attendant in town so you don't get lost. Alright. Okay. That is something useful. That, uh, we got the incense. I'm still expecting that we're going to need to use it at that spot I went to. But let's check in with the kiosk. And see what other hints we might get. Well, welcome to the Desert Help Kiosk. Um, ah, the Great Desert. It is the largest desert in the region known for its scorching sands. Many visitors enjoy a trip to the ancient avian statues, and the Sun Altar is not to be missed. See, that's what I thought, was that that was the Sun Altar. Alright. Back out again. I didn't notice before uh, how Mario, when you press uh, ZR, he kind of leans forward and gets that serious face on him. Um, you know, it's very intense, serious business to put the, the pedal to the metal. And then... Crash into a rock. Alright, so we got the incense. Going back to the same spot as before. Ouch. So. What happens if we place the incense on the thing here? Aren't you going to save here? I didn't realize I needed to. Why are you telling me to do that? How did I light it? Ooh, it's smoking! And the smoke is so fragrant. It smells like a sunny day. Ah, uh, it's like we're just laying out in the sun without a care in the world. 
So presumably the professor did this, and then what happened to him? Ah. Oh, they took our car! Alright, where are we? Oh no, it's a sandstorm! Are we trapped? I'm scared, Mario. What's going to happen next? Are those like a spiny? A giant spiny? A spiny macho? Oh, look at those spikes! But that's not too bad. Maybe it's just a cool cactus. Hi, cactus! Kind of a cactus, but yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, who am I kidding? This isn't good! Where's his weak spots? There's his weak spots. Alright, I'm presuming I want to be in my car. See, can I just like ram him? In the weak spots, does that count as an attack? Nope. There we go. Alright, so again, you gotta wait for him to be glowing. And then you can hit him. I don't know why the glow makes him invincible and deal damage to me, but apparently it does. Alright, and I wanna lure him out. Oh, then get fall over. I dare you! Oh, he's doing more now, though. I want to be ready as soon as he's worn out. To give him a good old ram. Oh, no. Ah! I was a bit off-center on my ram. And it did not work out. Let him do that, then he's gonna do the spin around thing. Real weird maneuver. Oh, there's one right on the bottom, that'll make it easy. Perfect. Alright. More. Oh. Windstorm, sandstorms, whatever. What's he doing? Trying to pull us in? No, thank you. There we go. Down to the head. All right, what more can you have? See, now the head... Oh, I see. It's on the very base is a sticker. I wonder what the purpose of the stickers are, because they seem to just act as weak points. Maybe they're like the power that brings him to life. Oh, and apparently there's a toad inside. Alright, now how do we hit that when he lands like that? Might have to jump out of my car and um, run up top and hit it with my hammer. That's my theory right now. Bluey. Hey, and there's a toad. He looks different from the other toads. Oh, look at that weird chunk of confetti. Let's see, what's his voice going to be? Let's go for... Let's go with Colorado from Paper Mario 1. I'm saved? Oh, thank you. You were eaten by a cactus. What was it like? Well, all things considered, it could have been wor- Wait! 
Who are you? I've never seen anything like you. Are you one of the Ancient Ones? Tell me! Ancient? Little old me? Huh? No. I'm just Olivia. Nice to meet you. And what's going on with the altar? Who did this? Mmm, yes. It seems the ancient rituals were observed correctly. Oh, you can read that writing? Well, of course. I'm a professor of ancient studies. This is written in the language of the ancient ones. Studying it is my life's work. Yes, we finally found a translator. Now, can you tell us what this all means? Oh, I'm so excited to have a professor helping us now. Oh, but before we begin, who are the ancient ones anyway? Well, the Ancient Ones are a people who existed in this geographical region a long time ago. Legend has it that one of these Ancient Ones still survives today. I've been seeking this person for quite some time. You see, I've dedicated my career to learning more about the ancient civilization based in this desert. One day I hope to unearth a legendary figure from these, those times. In the ancient text, he is known simply as... Captain Toad. Captain Toad? Am I saying it right? Is it Captain Teod or Captain Teod? Your research sounds very pro complicated, Professor. We've got a complicated problem too. That streamer in the desert. Wait, can you come with us to help translate the mysterious writing? That might help us a lot. Well, according to my research, there may be extensive evidence about Captain Toad hidden in the desert. I'm just gonna call him Captain Toad. As a matter of fact, I was conducting research on this very altar when I was consumed. There's a non-zero chance that I may be, uh, consumed again if I continue alone, and not just by my research. Ah, uh, but with Mario by my side, my survival might be more assured. Oh, I digress and blather. I accept your offer. Perhaps together we shall yet solve the mystery of the, uh, mysterious Captain Toad. Great! Oh, this is exciting! Getting to work with an actual professor? Yes, yes, well, don't get too excited. Much of our time is merely spent uncovering incredibly ancient relics and being chased by adversaries. Now, I noticed some ancient writing on the second floor of my hotel that might help us out. They may hide a clue about your streamer as well. Wow, you're already helping so much. Maybe you can even re-explain all that complicated stuff you just said along the way. I kind of spaced out. To open up a secret door, offer the sun ascent adored. I believe you have done everything correctly here with the sun incense, but something is still missing. Alright, so this is our new ally. Replaces our dead compatriot, Professor Toad. Hello? What's that over there? Mario, take a look over there. The ground is quite literally shining. That's what we in academia call a giant clue. Perhaps something is buried there. Now, with your help, I should be able to excavate the site using a shovel. Just stand where you'd like me to begin and press down. So, Mario stand or you stand? Alright. Off with you. Ah, you see what I mean? We've struck treasure! I can dig in any soft ground, like sand or dirt, even if it's not shining. Press down and I will hop to it. Do be on the lookout for suspicious places to dig, hmm? I believe there's another one around here. Alright, so it sounds like it's... Uh, scrub the desert. For treasure time. And translate text time. Alright. Now I've got to remember where all the stuff is. I believe there was at least something to do in like... The fuel efficiency of this vehicle is remarkable. Yeah, I've never fueled it, certainly. There we go. And have a look-see here, if you don't mind. Ooh. A gold hammer. Use this to knock coins out of your enemy's pockets. Sounds nice. I'm low on cash right now, so... Money-making item. Isn't bad. Oh, oh, gotta build up speed again. Nope. 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 What do we have here in the middle of the ruins? Ah, nice. Boot car, collectible treasure. Mm 
Now, was there anything out here? Doesn't seem to be. Just smack into everything. Anything else in this region of the desert? Keep your eyes open for shiny spots. We definitely want to go up to the tap. Uh, uh, Professor, how was it inside the cactus? It was dark and scary, but educational. Oh, well, that's good. By the way, I realized I didn't open up one of the um, fax travel points. Like, I saw the door, but I didn't actually go in rescue the toad, so I'll need to go back there at some point. Um, that was not smart of me to, you know, not actually unlock the fast travel. To find my eye would be a feat, unless you look around my feet. Well, this is certainly a valuable clue. A bit more obscure than I'd like, but important to be sure. I'll follow the translation away in my notes. You can check them anytime by pressing L. Uh, no. Okay, I was just testing the button out. Alright, so I'm gonna assume it's the foot that's got the little diamond in front of it. Yep, here you go. Whoa, you dug up some kind of strange rock. What is it? It's quite old. It might be ancient treasure or a simple ancient rock. Either way, I advise you hang on to it. Diamond jewel. A diamond-shaped jewel from Scorching Sandpaper Desert. I mean, I know exactly what to do with that. Shove it in the eye of a statue. Oh, it fits perfectly! How cute! Ooh, the stone you put in there is sparkling so brightly! What's happening, other than this pretty light show? Are we rotating? Ah, as I thought. So I'm guessing that all the eyes will point at the center. And once they're all pointing and shooting their lasers, something cool will happen. Ah, maybe it'll raise that from the desert and allow us entrance to the boss area. Oh, is it going to be form a... Uh, Earth elemental thing, and then uh, we can we can raise it up with the earth power. Ugh, what was all that shaking? Why did we all fall down? What just happened? All right, looks good. So we're finally making progress. All those hints and clues we've been running into for the past few episodes, past few days, finally bearing fruit. Look at that lanky guy. Isn't he facing a different direction now? Maybe you just want to look at something different. So, uh, come back tomorrow, and hopefully we should start making some good progress uh, through the desert one second. So are these random? I don't think I saw that earlier. I mean, I'm fine if it's just gold, because... Or coins, because I need coins. Anyway, anyway, that's a distraction. Come back tomorrow, and we will start making some progress and actually reading these clues, figuring out what's going on in the desert, and uh, unlocking our way to the dungeon. Alright, I'll see you guys there. Bye.